so recently I've been getting back into War Thunder, especially now since I know how the cinematic replay system works, and this game is so much more beautiful than I think people realize. Probably because you don't usually see it from this angle, you're used to seeing it like this. But oh man, when you put this game in the right light, it looks so good. So, today, we're going to be playing some War Thunder, and if you haven't already, click the link down in the description, go download this game completely for free, it's worth your time. And if you only have a console, don't worry, you can get this on Xbox Series X, PS5, PC, or even previous generations of consoles. Now, today, we're going to be doing a variety of missions, but I want to show this from a new perspective using the in-game replay system to get some really beautiful shots while we're playing the mission. If you guys like this content, as always, make sure you press that subscribe button and let's get into it. All right, for this first mission, we're going to be running the F4 Phantom loadout that I absolutely love. The F4 Phantom is just a fantastic multi-role fighter, and it lets me go into really any match or any scenario and have something that I can do in order to help the team. Right now, the F4 has the ability to just load up loads of high explosive bombs, and I can basically use this as a one-shot base destroyer. But after I've used up all of my bombs, I still have a wide variety of both long range and short range missiles. So after I'm done doing my strikes, I can come in and help mop up with a little bit of combat air patrol. Now we're going to be playing the operations game mode, which is my favorite game mode. Basically it's an open world dynamic team versus team game mode where you have enemy bases and a variety of objectives on both sides that each team has to either destroy or complete. And the more objectives you complete, the more you demoralize the enemy team. If you either destroy all of the enemy players or complete all enemy objectives, then your team wins the match. I'm going to try to take up my F4 Phantom, and I'm going to see if I can't take out their bases before they're able to counter me. And then who knows, maybe after I take out a base, I'll be able to run some combat air patrol as well. Alright, so we got our full loadout here, and we've got a variety of F14s that are going to go ahead and hopefully take out any enemy combat air patrols before they get to me. I see a lot of F-14s on the field. F-14s are the most popular aircraft right now in high tier gameplay. That and the A-10. Uh, neither of which I have, which is kind of frustrating, honestly. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of combat off in the distance. That's probably going to look really amazing in the replay footage. But right now, I can't really see any of that, and I'm going to try and stay away from it. All right, I'm eyeing that base to the left there. All the way to the left. That looks like the target that I'm going to be most likely able to hit. I'm going to try and stay out of missile range, or at least stay in between my F-14s and the enemy team because I'm hoping that they're going to be paying way more attention to those F-14s than they are going to be paying attention to me. Right now, out of 12 people on our team, six of those people are F-14s. Ooh, and a kill. Looks like we lost our Phantom. Ooh, and there goes one of the F-14s, and there goes another F-14. Not a good start. Lost two out of our six combat air patrol aircraft. Oh, there we go. Enemy F-14 down. Oh, wow. Enemy Mirage down. Enemy MiG down. But we lost another F-14. Took out the C-7. That's an A-10 kill. Interesting. I wonder how that went down. All right, let's see here. We've still got a nice good buffer of our combat air patrol aircraft in between us and the bad guys. So we're gonna dive down and we're gonna start our attack run now. 
Got our Harrier and our A-10 down there. Dog fighting F-14s. Not sure how that's going to go. Oh, well, there goes the A-10, so I guess that didn't go very well. Running low on people now. Looks like we've lost half of our team. Looks like we still have both of our Harriers somehow. But that's not my problem, because I'm going to light this base up. Let's get these bombs off. Good night. And now, I do not have nearly as much weight weighing me down. So I can go and do some dogfighting after I get rid of the rest of these missiles. Because I want to make sure I unload all my ordnance before I go and help these guys out. Which it does not look like they are doing that well. Although there's not too many people on either side anymore. Although it looks like we just lost our last F-14. So, that's not a good sign. And I think they still have an F-14. Yeah, they still have an F-14. Alright, so... I've never had a dogfight between an F-4 Phantom and an F-14 before. Uh, but I guess we're gonna see how that's gonna go. There he is. The Shadow 62. Alright. We've got our other F-4 Phantom over there, barely hanging on, as it looks. And we've got our two Harriers still holding it down. Yeah, I know, buddy. I'm going to try to help him. I'm going to try to help you, my dude. Just hang on a little bit longer. I am in full afterburner, and I am not sure if I'm going to get there in time. I can see this F-14 just pecking away at this dude. Man, this looks bad. This is kind of like, it's like when you see those, those hawks and like the sparrows fighting outside. That's what this looks like right now. Oh no, hold up. This is not looking good. Is he smoking? It looks like he's smoking. Oh god. Oh, no. I am... Okay. I'm sorry, man. I'm here now. I will avenge you. Let's see if I can get a lock. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was close. All right. I'm going to maintain my momentum and just burn and try to get away from this guy as much as possible. He must be out of missiles. He must be out of missiles, right? Be a dead man right now. I'm going to dump flares just in case anyways. Try to get a lock on this, buddy. Alright, this is the awkward part where I'm going to have to find him and lock him up again. And I do not see him. Eh, that's going to be inconvenient. Alright. It, it is literally just me and this Harrier. And this Harrier is back at base. So I have... I, it's basically just me and this guy now. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to survive this. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, got you. Come on. Let's get a missile off. I've got to wait for it to get a proper lock. There we go. Come on, missile away. Oh, dang it, too close. I feel like I would have had him if I was just a little bit further away. Oh, crap. We're in a turn fight now. Am I really turn fighting an F-14? This feels like a stupid idea. Oh, no, he's on my tail. Alright, screw it. I'm gonna turn and burn again. Let's get away from him. He definitely doesn't have missiles, or I'd be dead. So I just have to use my speed. I am lighter. He might be damaged. I was pretty sure the F-14 could catch me, but maybe not. Look at these, he's trying to snipe me. I don't think so, buddy. Man, this is not looking good. I have no idea. I'm just going to have to get distance and then come at him again. Oh! D did he just die? What just happened? Oh! The Harrier! The Harrier came back! Oh my gosh, the Harrier just saved me! Oh my gosh! Dude, that's epic. What what an epic ending. Thank you, Mr. Harrier. <laughs> that is so that's so sick. All right, now I just want to get in some sandbox dogfights. 
these are just open public servers that I love to join where you can just dogfight against all sorts of players and it's awesome to fight in these because you can just have some really sick moments like hopefully now let's see if I can kill this guy oh <laughs> yeah all right see and that is something that is perfect to look at in a replay let's see how that looks oh my gosh upside down inverted oh <laughs> See, this is what I love most about this thing. Whenever you get into situations like this, I can actually thrust vector. Like, I can point the nozzles of my thruster down, and then look, just gives me that slight edge. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to go play War Thunder yourself, remember, link is down in the description. This game is free, and I think it's worth giving another shot if you haven't played it in a while. Besides that, if you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.